Hey everybody, uh, I've been watching everybody's record store days, uh, videos, like a ton of them up right now in the VC. It's kind of cool seeing what everybody picked up. Uh, I didn't go out, I'm not uh, real big into the record store day. Uh, it looks like there's some cool releases, but uh, I don't know, just not too into it. I uh, did want to get the Ozzy double live uh, with the Randy Road show. But uh, that wasn't just a record store day only thing. So, and actually, uh, talked to the guy at the record shop, and he can get more of them, which he's ordered me one. So that's cool. Uh, I didn't go Saturday for record store day, but I went Sunday, just uh, looking around and looked through what was left over, and actually picked up a couple things. So uh, thought I'd show you that, and getting it started. Pick up the uh, Pussy Galore 7 inch. It's kind of cool. And I think, uh, I can't remember who I saw show this. Maybe there's a couple people. But I grabbed the uh, Aging of Stooges Raw Power 2 LP. The only other record store day thing was the Metallica, which is kind of just for the collection, kind of a deal. And I'm not sure if this is a record store day only or I'm doubting it. Uh, actually, grabbed this on CD. I think I found it for like four or five bucks somewhere, and wasn't too overly impressed with it. But uh, figured I'd grab it on vinyl for the Metallica collection. That's pretty much it, uh, record store day wise. I did pick up some other stuff while I was in there, and uh, I'll show you that. But uh, one thing that came in the mail yesterday, extremely excited about the new Accept Stalingrad. It's a 2LP, and this is the uh, clear vinyl pressing. Open that. You can see that it's uh, limited to 250, and this is number 34. Actually, uh, I was looking around on Amazon and was going to try and order from there, and yeah, it, they don't really say what it is. There's a couple different versions. I guess there's the black and uh, like a splatter red, and then I guess the rarest is going to be the clear. So, but I uh, found this on eBay. Guy had a uh, splatter red and a clear. So, jumped on it. And lucky enough, nobody else bid on it. So, here it is. Uh, some other stuff I picked up. Uh, the newest Warbringer. World's Torn Asunder. If you've never heard of Warbringer, they're very much uh, 80s thrash. Just kind of wrap uh, Exodus with uh, Slayer, Metallica, a little bit of all that in here. Cool band. I think this is their third album now. Uh, While well, I was in the shop yesterday, looking around, uh, he had a bunch of Blue Note reissues, and I'm slowly getting into jazz, checking some of it out. And I don't have any Blue Note, because every time I find Blue Note releases, it's either one of two things, they're just crazy expensive, or they're just beat to hell, and you know, I'm not paying ten bucks for a beat up album, so, uh, these are all just free issues, and I don't know a lot about them, I'm just kind of investigating this stuff now, so, but I'll show you what I found, uh, Hank Mobley, and I uh, listened to this, uh, cool stuff. This one's, this one's blowing my mind. I need to find some more stuff like this. Jimmy McGriff, Electric Funk. And kind of looking it up online, they call it uh, Soul Jazz. It's like uh, a lot of Hammond B3 in it and that kind of thing. But, uh, this is great. 
and anybody watching, if you have any suggestions in this kind of vein, this genre, let me know. I'm really liking that. Uh, next, and the rest of them I haven't listened to yet. We're still, uh, still having been for them. Joe Henderson. These are all, you know, right around ten bucks. Shades of Red. Or, excuse me. Freddy Red. Shades of Red. Another Hank Mobley. Dippin'. Don Cherry. So I'm just getting into this. So. Donald Bird. I know there's a lot of jazz guys in the VC. Probably know everything about these albums, but I don't. Jackie McLean. Art Blakey. Well, I was kind of excited to find those, you know, for a good price, and we made a little bit of a deal on buying so many of them, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Uh, also picked up uh, a couple other newer things. Chocolate Watch Band, Inner Mystique, 180 grand reissue. This guy, I don't know if I've seen anybody show anything by him. Hassel Atkins, White Light, White Meat. This is like a compilation recording from 58 to 65. This guy was uh, down in uh, Boone County, West Virginia. And so in Norton. He's like a one man band. He's actually a. Uh, uh, movie about him I saw on uh, PBS and it's crazy stuff like you know, he lives down in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia and has like a little trailer that he records in uh, but he actually recorded for some labels like in the 50s early 60s and that kind of thing but he's kind of like a, a real eccentric kind of guy and very interesting I kind of look forward to hearing that. Uh, a couple I picked up for like a buck just to check out what's interesting. Irby Green, Senor Blues. No idea. It's on uh, CTI. Something for a buck, check out. Uh, Herbie Man, Latin Fever, which is uh, 50 cents. And uh, George Benson, it's a double LP, also for 50 cents. It's like really in good shape. Still cracking when you open it. The vinyl's in killer shape. Okay, 50 cents. Uh, also got James Gang, Newborn. This is a really good rock album. Or say like half of it's a really good rock album. It's kind of every other song is like really good. Then it kind of slows down for a song. Then a really good song. This is from uh, 75. It's a cool cover too. Uh, this band, I... Uh, really don't know anything about it's Unicorn, Unicorn 2, and it was really a uh, cheap find, it's like it was a radio station, I guess I'm writing one, but from what I looked up, what I, little I could find on them, I think they were from England, but they have a lot of that uh, early 70s West Coast singer, songwriter kind of thing going on. A little bit of that equal sound, I guess. And the 
last thing I got is because of Zach Z Geek. He showed this album, and I've seen this album a million times. And it always looks interesting, but I never picked it up because you know, I wasn't sure what it was. And usually I find it in bad shape. This one I found in good shape, so I grabbed it after seeing Zach talk about it. It's cold blood. And this is amazing. If you like, uh, you know, the Janis Joplin kind of stuff, <laughs> this is it. So I want to try and, they had more releases, so I want to try and maybe keep an eye out for some other ones. But, uh, this is crazy. Like I said, I've seen this album just umpteen times and never grabbed it. And then to hear you know, Zach talk about how much he liked it, I went ahead and took a shot, found it for a couple bucks in really good shape. And I, I love it. I've listened to it uh, two or three times now. So. Alright, that's about it. Uh, like I say, I don't do too much of the record store day, but I did pick up a couple things uh, the day after. And uh, if anybody out there is uh, seeing that Ozzy single, I think they put out, uh, if your record store has one still floating around, maybe you shoot me a message. I'd like to kind of pick that up. Uh, not so much for Ozzy, but just for the Randy Rhodes thing about it, you know, with the. Uh, got the polka dot picture disc and all that. So maybe work something out if uh, your record store still has one. Uh, Alright, hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for watching.